Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, scissors, rock. Gah. Should we call it a draw? To say it's frustrating to play paper, scissors, rock with this glove on is an understatement. And while I don't have any practical applications for it, it was a fun project to make. I made the glove using a special type of resistive material called Velostat. While it almost feels like black plastic, it has the unique property of not only conducting electricity, but changing its resistance when flexed. I used several strips of Velostat and placed a length of conductive sewing thread on each side, all sandwiched together by some sticky tape. Each of the five flex sensors will act as a variable resistor. I began by attaching an Arduino lily pad and a battery holder to a gardening glove using conductive sewing thread. In the previous step, I connected the flex sensors to individual analog pins on the Arduino, creating five voltage dividers using 4.7 kilo ohm resistors. Voltage dividers can be used to read the flex sensor's resistance relative to a fixed known resistance R1 by this equation. A complete circuit diagram can be found in the description below. I attach the elastic to the ends of the flex sensors to keep them taut while in motion. Notice that when I close my hand, the flex sensors fall off the finger. To stop this, I sewed some guides for the flex sensor to follow. Everything up to this point was going smoothly, but I forgot the cardinal rule. Always work on the hardest parts first, and fail quickly. My original plan was to use Bluetooth and wirelessly communicate between the glove and robotic arm. I previously successfully established communication between two HC05 Bluetooth modules and an Arduino Uno. I naively assumed that this same technique could be easily translated to the Arduino lily pad. However, I ran into issues with the board rate, which is the speed at which data is sent through the serial communication. The problem is easily demonstrated by uploading a simple sketch that will count to 10 in a loop. Notice that I set the board rate to 9600. However, after uploading the code, when I open the serial monitor, the output is nonsensical. I instead have to change the board rate to 19,200. I believe the issue is that the Lilypad uses an 8 MHz oscillator, while the Arduino Uno, which is used to connect it to the computer, uses a 16 MHz oscillator. And because of this, I can't reliably pair the two modules, even when I offset the board rate by a factor of 2. For this reason, I decided to pivot, and instead of using a Bluetooth module, just connect some wires directly between the glove and the robotic arm. Since the lily pad doesn't have a USB port, in order to connect the board to a laptop, you have to connect it via the Arduino Uno. First remove the ATmega 328p chip with a screwdriver. This stops the computer from programming the Arduino Uno and instead programs the Arduino lily pad. Steps detailing the wiring can be found in the description below. You can find the complete code on my GitHub. Essentially, the code reads the analog value and maps it to a range of 0 to 180 degrees, corresponding to the position of the servo for each finger. The hand I'm using is called Flexi Hand. Credit for this design goes to Gyrobot. You can find the files for 3D printing on Thingiverse. I didn't have enough filament to 3D print the forearm, so instead I made a paper mache model of my own forearm and painted it red.
Thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, you can click right here. I'll be uploading new videos on a schedule that's inversely proportional to the amount of study I have to do. In the meantime, if you'd like to watch the robotic arm video that I made earlier, you can click right here.